In this lesson, we're going to add products using the K2 component. So you want to go over to components and you want to click on K2. Just like with the Joomla core, where you added product products through the article manager, it's a similar process here. So one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you create a category. But if you already have existing products and category, then you do not need to uh, add category. So let's create a category first. And you do so by clicking on new and we're going to just call this products and you want to click on save and close and I just want to note that you know K2 has a ton of features you know that's why it's a CCK because it allows you to create and style your pages in different ways but in this course I'm not going to be going in details to explain all the different features that it has I'm just simply going to be adding products uh, with it so once you've created your category you want to go over to items this is where you're going to create you know pages or article pages and then you want to click on new and if you note here you have the title you have the category this is the category we just created the products and once you scroll down here you have where you can input the information about this particular product and then at the very bottom here you have the Kate the quick to cart so we're going to grab this title here from Amazon. I have a few products here, some cameras. So let's grab this title and we're going to put that title right there and then grab the description. And then if you note here at the bottom, you have the quick to cart plugin. So you want to click on this checkbox, which is going to activate it. And I'm just going to grab this title and then just put the title here. And then with the SKU, as always, put something unique. And then you want to select the store. The status should be published. And then for the price, let's see what this price is. Okay, so we're just going to, you know, put whatever price here. And then the discounted price is the price that they're going to be purchasing it for. And then the number that you have in stock. And then you put the number you have in stock. And you can put, you, know, you can choose to select the tax profile or the length and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to put that there. And then you want to make sure that you select the category. And then once that's done, you click on, you can either click on save and close, or you can click on save and new. So let's click on save and close. So now we have to go and look on the front end to see what it looks like. So to do so, we have to go to menus and let's go over to the main menu. And we are going to use the home page to view the product. And you want to click where it says menu item type, click on select. And you go over to K2. And then you have several options to choose from here. So if you want to list just a particular item, you can do that where you show just that one item. So let's do that for now. And then you click to select the item and then save. And next, let's take a look on the home page. So here you have it. You have the super user. You have people can leave a comment about this product. They can also leave a rating about it. And to add a picture for this particular product, you go to browse. And once you've browsed the product, then you, and it's going to show it, and you click on save. So let's take a look in the front end now and see what it looks like with this image on there. So this is what you have. And one of the cool things about this is that, you know, people, of course, they can leave a comment about this particular product. So if you want to showcase your product like this, they can also leave a review um, about the product that you have the nice image. A description and then the price the quantity they can add they can also share this via social media which you know looks pretty cool let's add another product so click on save and new put the title select the category same process and then grab the description which is right there and we're gonna put this there and scroll to the bottom I'm just gonna grab the title for this and then a skew and then put the price and once again if you want to add the tax profiles and shipping and things like that you can do so but I'm just going to leave it as that and one more thing we want to add an image so you want to click on browse select the image and then you click on save okay so now we need to look on the front end with the two items that we added so we're gonna go back here on this menu 
right now we have it shown as an item so you want to click on select and we are going to show this in a blog format and then choose the category where it says select categories we select the product and then we'll click save when you refresh the home page then this is what the product page looks like it shows the image and you know shows the rating here the title so now what I want to do is, you know, we're going to add another product, but we're going to change the format, how this shows. So you do the same process item. You click new, add a new product. I already went ahead and added a new one here. And we're going to go back to the menus and main menu. And we are going to change that from an item into a blog format into categories. So you want to click on the home or whatever menu that you want to change and then you want to go over to select uh, menu item type you go to K2 and then you choose categories and once you've selected the categories you want to go over to options and then you want to choose the category that you want for that so we're going to select the products here and once you do that it gives you a little you know information at the bottom here and then once you've done that you click on save and we're going to take a look on the front end to see what it looks like so let's refresh the home page so there you have it when I have two products here and people can be able to shop directly um, on each product so they can click add to cart or they can also click on each product to go to get a little bit more information about it so what I'm going to do now is I want to show you how to change that from one category so that it has, I'm sorry, from one column so it has two columns and you're going to have the products side by side. So you want to go over to categories from the K2 and then you want to click on that category. I want you to look on the right hand column here where it says category item layout and you have the layout grid. Right now it's showing lead and count. That means that there are going to be two leading articles. But if you want to change the column from one column to two, you just click on it and we're going to change that to two columns. And once again, I'm not going into a lot of detail, you know, with how K2 works. It's a really, really awesome component. And with some of the changes that they've made, it's, it's made it a whole lot better and easier. So once you've done that, you change that to two, you want to click on save and close. And then let's go on the front end and see what it looks like. So now when you come to the front end, you have two columns here instead of one. So as you add items, it's going to you know automatically show up in this format. And when users want to purchase something, they can just click on each one or they can just click add to cart. So right now the add to cart is, is nothing is there, it's empty. So when you click add to cart, it gives you this pop-up and then you can click continue shopping. And if you notice here, it's going to automatically add it to your cart. So that's how you can add the items, you know, to your K2 cart and makes things very simple and very easy for you.